man. How are you? How are you doing? Nothing makes sense anymore. Are you okay? Maisie broke up with me. And so can you tell us like why was it Seven Cats and like what were the difficulties with doing this movie? Okay, so we, we picked Seven Cats because we had two teams and we always were cats and teens. The first team we had three cats and that were rescued here in um, Los Angeles from the local shelters here. And then when we were filming they were growing. Hi. So tell me, what are you expecting out of this movie? I'm expecting a good time. I'm here to support Tiffany Haddish. She's in the Carmichael show with me, and I'm just so excited for her. This is her first movie, and uh, I, I hope she's going to be like a breakout star. Tiffany is just so interesting and so amazing. You never know what's going to come out of her mouth. And she's a stand-up, so I don't even know half the time if she's telling me the truth or if she's just practicing. <laughs> I just want her to be good in this movie, so she can get the next one. Is there anything that you're expecting or that you're looking no, forward to? No, I'm going in not knowing nothing. I wouldn't look at no commercials. Anytime a commercial come on, I cut it off. I just want to see it in its entirety and just get all the laughs. Is that just because you as a comedic actor that you're really looking Probably, forward to this? Yep, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I just want to see my guys get down, man. Shout out to Key and Phil. It's going to be great. This is my beautiful mother, Gary you know, Neighbors. Um, how are you, love? I'm very good. Good to see you. And so, see like, you. Come here, stop backing up. Ah. There. So, like, how exciting is this for you? Is this like one of your first premieres, or is this like old hat, or what's the deal? Super exciting. Uh, this is my first major motion. Um, hopefully not my last. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, hopefully many more to come, but yeah, this is my first major motion. Producer, so, 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 like, what have you enjoyed most about uh, yeah, this whole experience? Uh, maybe like the build up to this, you know what I'm saying, like the anticipation or whatever, like every single day, ever since I like left New Orleans, I was just like, when is it coming out? It's like, heck yeah, I saw that. And so like, is there like, and it must be really great to be able to bring mom here and have her Oh, yeah, 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 I had that plan since, uh, since I booked the movie. I was up to like, yeah, I'm going to bring my mom to the red carpet and they never let me on. <laughs> and what do you think you're going to take away most from the filming? From like working with the, the cast that you work with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this and figure out ways to be better and better and better. You know, even though I was stellar. I can't, I can't. <laughs> now I gotta pronounce your character's name right, so I hear Go it's ahead. not, it's not Bacon, it's Bacon. 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 All right, okay. And I heard that when you heard that they were thinking about you for this role, you didn't even want to see the script. Can you tell me about that? That I didn't. Yeah, that you were like, I just want to do it. I just want to do it. I love Key and Peele. I mean, I love these guys. I love their brand of comedy. They're, I think they're brilliant. You know, they're so different. They're breath of fresh air. You know, and more than anything, they're two really good, humble, you know, human beings, man. Uh, I got I got to know Keegan and Jordan so well. You know, we got to hang out, you know, the rest of the cast. And uh, they're always very welcoming uh, about the collaboration and stuff like that. And, I, and that's so important, you know. Uh, they didn't make it about them. You know, they made it about... This is the script, this is the premise, for let's rock, let's rock this out, and we did that. How did you guys come up with the idea of a cat? The cat seems so random. I, I think Jordan deserves most of the credit for that one. I mean, we, we, we had several drafts of the script before there was a cat, and it was more about them stumbling by accident into this insane situation that they had to fake their way out of. And Jordan and I were trying to figure out, we felt like there was something missing. And as is always the case in writing, what was missing was a cat. Um, that's what's missing for most people. And Jordan cracked that kitty, you know, that, 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 uh, that puzzle. Did he crack that kitty? Yeah, yeah, from, yeah, we cracked that kitty. And from now on, uh, all movies will have cats in them, so that's good. It was such a team effort, this film. Like, the script is already incredible, but you were always able to, there was a little something, you know, you wanted to add or, you know, do something. It's like, it, you, and then when you see it on screen, you're like, wow, they trust us to make decisions that would benefit the film. And it's incredible, you know, and work with great people and great things like that happen. So. So what would you think you'd 
take away like from this experience? Just how I mean, just working with good people, like how it really changes you. You know, I've been blessed my entire career, young career, to be working with like just good people, and it's like it just it was amazing. They're just good people, you know, and it's like it's so fun, you know. Um, I think I just take away that like you can be a megastar such as Key and Peele and still be an incredible human being, and that's that's a beautiful thing. I'm expecting to leave out of here a horse and my stomach muscles hurt. That's what I'm expecting. I've been big fans of theirs forever and I'm excited to see this, you know, and I got a lot of other friends in there as well. So it's all good. So who are your friends that are in it or who are you here to support? Uh, you know, I'm here to support King Peel, obviously, and Tiffany Haddish and Met the Man. They've been my friends for years. Tiffany I used to do YouTube videos with and you know, I'm just happy for everybody that's involved. Cornrows, are you actively it want to inflict pain on somebody by pulling their hair and, and twisting it out. It was it was so painful. I'm a wimp though. I'm I'm a super wimp with with hair stuff for some. How long did it take them to actually like to cornrow your hair? It was like two hours. But then the cornrows are painful the whole time they're in. They loosen up eventually, I guess. But I didn't have them in long enough to. I had them in for like three or four days before I took them out. Went back home to LA to do some stuff. Came back a week later, knew that I had to go through the process all over again, and they they took pity on me. They gave me this huge bottle of whiskey <laughs> so I could just, just ease the pain. But I like after getting the cornrows in, I had to I had to take uh, like a pain pill to go to sleep. It hurts real bad. Have you guys had cornrows? Have you ever I had have. Cornrows? I've had cornrows like quite a is bit. It, doesn't it hurt? Yeah, but you know what? When your hair is straighter, you have to pull it harder. Oh, so that's part yeah. of the problem. But also, you had a lot of problems on this film. Like, you also had to deal with the snake. You were dealing with like quite a few I did have fears. to deal with the snake. It was pretty terrifying. Um, that was the thing. The cornrows hurt so much that, that I couldn't fully engage <laughs> in the fear of being right next to this 18-foot python. Uh, so that was the positive of the cornrows. Because if I didn't if I didn't have that pain, it was because in a way I was like, I hope this snake does kill me so I can <laughs> stop uh, hurting from the cornrows. So can you tell me, like, what was your like favorite part of working on this movie? Um, you know, honestly, it was because I've done so much comedy with the guys and we've been down that road to be able to do a little bit of action and, and blow some stuff up and do a car chase and have shootouts. That was kind of a new experience for me, and so that was a lot of fun. It okay. was exciting. Was there anything that was unexpected, like when you were shooting this, or like I know the weather was something else. <laughs> yeah, uh, the heat. You know, we shot it in New Orleans, and um, I, it felt like we were shooting on the surface of the sun. It was like, you know, we'd be shooting a night scene four in the morning, and it's still 90 degrees, 90 percent humidity. Everyone is just sweating through their clothes. The actors, you have to like constantly change their outfits. So going down there, I knew it was going to be hot. I had no idea what we were in for. It was crazy. So oh, now everyone says shooting with kids and animals. And now it's so a falsehood. Animals are the best. Well, cats are the best. I've worked with other animals. Sometimes it's touch and go. But the cats were like super professional, super on top of it, always on time. I mean, like totally focused. It was great. So, Consummate professionals. Yeah, yeah. And so I hear that you had something on the set that was called doing a 5K. Can you explain that to me? Yeah, 5K. So the guys like to do improv. And, you know, we would do a take that was on book on, on you know, doing the scripted lines. And then we want to do a fun run. So a fun run, of course, is a 5K. So our little shorthand was, okay, guys, time for a 5K. And they knew that that was when they could play and improv and find some crazy stuff. Do you think there'll be a piano, too? Oh, we have a whole cinematic universe mapped out. So K2, K3, K4, then the reboot, then we do prequels. It's going to be amazing. Oh, I like Get ready that. for years of piano. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. I saw the For movie, uh -huh. and I'm telling you, you did a great job. Thank you so much. Really. Thank you. But you know what? You really, like, you're so job. funny and bubbly and in person, but yeah. in this role. It's very hot. Mm -hmm. In New Orleans, Louisiana, no. we had to wear <laughs> suits underneath our suits that had cold water running through. So was that hard for you at all? 
I like it. It's super fun. I love, you know, I love to be different all the time. Maybe I'm a little bipolar, who knows? But it was so fun to play that role. To be hard and be like, yeah, like, I'll sock you. Yeah, and that's fun. And so it seems like you kind of, like, were you taken from any people that you know? Like, in, for that I was taken from my real life experience being in these streets of South Central LA. I'm from these streets. Okay? okay. I try to be a crip. They wouldn't let me, though. <laughs> Why wouldn't they let you? Because I was too cute. And goofy. Oh my gosh, yes, I want to see the kids all right now. I had all my I want to see them in real life and see how much they've grown. <laughs> And then I so do you see, like, maybe there being a Keanu, too, with this? I would love it to be a Keanu, too. Oh, my gosh. Yes! Our, it's our premiere, man. That's where the energy comes from. I'm just excited. I'm so happy to be here. Um, we are just, we're just like, I was just saying, it's a miracle to get a movie made. It's a, it's a testament to my partner and his writing skills that that a studio would just bank on this. Would bank on a movie about kittens. First of all, there's never been a cat movie. I mean, Garfield, not a real cat. Never been a cat movie. You do a cat movie, but the majority of the cast is African-American and kittens? Like, what is that? And so we want to thank Warner Brothers and New Line Cinema so much for saying, we love the script so much. This is a story, above all else, that we think is funny and heartwarming and romantic. Let's make the movie. Okay, but aside from that, I mean, is this your first like, really huge Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I've been the premieres and I'm the guy that appears like, yeah, Keegan, thanks, go, go, go. Who's that? Cameron Diaz! You know what I mean? This is the first time they cared. This is the first time that you're standing there, you're like, oh, you still, oh, you still want to take pictures of me? I should, no, 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 you guys aren't done yet? You still want to take pictures of me? It's crazy. Like, I guess, I've never been the lead in a movie before. I mean, I've been, I've, I've done bigger, big roles, but to be a lead, it takes a lot of energy. There'd be days, in the middle of our of, uh, of the run of the film, where I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. There were days where, you know, that's because it was 106 degrees with 90% humidity. But but a lot of it is that it's it's an insurmountable task, and you also you want to do justice to the work. You want to do justice to the words. You want to do justice to your partners. You want to be there and, and and give it your all every day. And some days when you have time, you can just go, oh, a smaller part in this movie, no big deal. I'll go hang out. I'll give it my all the five days I'm on set. But when you're there, the lion's share of the time. It's it's a task. It's a task. Yeah, it's a responsibility. It's a real responsibility because you also set the tone as a producer and one of the lead actors. You set the tone. And then, and I feel like we did a good job. That's the thing I'm most proud of, is that the cast and crew were like, yeah, we'll follow these guys. They seem to care more as much as anybody should, and so they cared too. It felt like a real team. We in the market right now for like a gangster pet. You serious?